five planets visible to the unaided eye has been known to astronomers since ancient times. It was first recorded by ancient Egyptian astronomers about 4000 years ago. Mars is often called the red planet because of its reddish color. To the ancient Romans, the red planet was a symbol of blood and war. That is why Mars was named for the ancient Roman god of war. The story of Mars began about 4.5 billion years ago when gas and dust swirled together to form the fourth planet from the sun. Its entire surface area is similar to all that of Earth's continents combined. Much like its terrestrial cousin, Mars is dense and has a rocky composition. Today, Mars is dry, desolate and cold with temperatures dropping as low as minus 225 degree Fahrenheit or minus 142 degree Celsius. But billions of years ago, the planet was much warmer, more geologically active and had a watery surface. Lake beds and river valleys snake along the surface of Mars, indicating that liquid water was for a time present. Of all the planets in the solar system, the seasons of Mars are the most Earth-like due to the similar tilts of the two planets' rotational axis. This means Mars has both summers and winters just like us. The temperatures in different seasons can vary quite a lot from minus 143 degrees Celsius at the polar winter caps to 35 degrees Celsius in the equatorial summer. Another reason that Mars has such different temperatures is that its atmosphere is primarily made of carbon dioxide and is very thin preventing it from holding on to much energy from the sun. There are no liquid water on Mars, but there are two polar ice caps made of large amounts of frozen water and sometimes there are even clouds made of water vapor much like on Earth. The iron minerals on the crust of Mars reacts with trace amounts of oxygen in the atmosphere, producing iron oxide which gives Mars its reddish appearance. As you can see from the photos from the rovers on Mars, everything really is reddish brown. Volcanoes such as Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system at three times the height of Mount Everest, once erupted lava. The only reason a structure like this is standing on Mars is because its gravity is reasonably weak. Olympus moons can be easily be seen from space. If we look at the topographical map, you can see it quite clearly. Mars also has the longest and deepest canyon in the solar system, which is called the Valles Marineris. Mars has two known moons, the Phobos and Deimos, which are smaller and irregular in shape. Compared to the moon on our Earth, they are much smaller. Phobos is the biggest of Mars moon and it's also the closest. Deimos on the other hand is very small and also very far away. Because Mars is farther from the Sun, however, Mars takes much longer to travel once around the Sun than Earth does, almost 687 days. Mars has such absolutely beautiful sunsets. Because of factors such as the presence of water, some scientists believe life may have existed on the red planet and may exist again. Since the 1960s, space programs from around the world have launched missions to Mars and attempts to understand the planet's past, present and potential for sustaining life. There are currently five orbiters circling Mars and two rovers exploring its surface, all sending data back to Earth. Life on another planet may well be out for the near future, but if any planet could give us hope, Mars may hold the key to the survival of humanity.